Hey friend, Jed here, and we're gonna talk today about services. Why would you choose a traditional kind of stretch canvas like this versus maybe this panel? Or what if you wanted to try out something hard like this, a gesso panel? Why would you choose these? And plus a couple other options. I'm gonna give you my best kind of insights into why I choose certain certain panels, certain canvases, and hopefully it'll be helpful for you as you're thinking about why you're painting and maybe the circumstance in which you will be painting and that will help you make a decision for the future. All right, so we're looking first at the surfaces. Before we start painting, we need to know what we're gonna paint on. So I'm gonna just give you in the in the world of art, there's tons of things that you can paint on. And because acrylics are so versatile, you can paint on a lot of different things. But I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the things that I most commonly paint on. First of all, we're gonna look at MDF. So this is just like bought at Home Depot kind of MDF. I, I buy it in a two foot by four foot panel. What's nice about it is it's sturdy. You can't, it's, you can't see through it, so that means if you're outside, the sun won't shine through the other side, that kind of thing. You can have it be pretty big. You have to frame it, and you also have to, the downside is you have to put gesso on it and prepare the surface before you can paint on it. I don't recommend it for you unless you have some experience um, and have time. Another option is a stretch canvas like this. This is a three quarter inch stretch canvas. This is a uh, one and a half inch stretch canvas. It's just the depth. I generally use, if I'm using one, I'll use a one and a half inch. And the reason I would use this is because I can paint on a much bigger surface without it getting really, really heavy. Um, the other benefit of it is because it has a wide edge, um, you don't have to frame it. You can either paint around the edge or paint a simple color on the edge and leave it like that and frame it. It's kind of a modern look. But the downside is that if you do want to frame it, it can be a little bit harder to frame because it's got such a wide edge. A three quarter inch one doesn't, but for a large canvas, you kind of want the thicker um, frame because it's going to um, hold its form better, it won't, won't tend to warp as easily as the thinner one. But what I recommend in this course is what I use most commonly, and that's just a, a canvas panel. And that is simply, this is one that's, it's actually linen canvas um, over an MDF board. So it's similar to that first board that I showed, except that it's a little bit thinner it's still fairly rigid. It's not as rigid, but it's pretty strong. The sunlight won't shine through it, so that's good if I'm painting outside, but look how compact it is. Um, I could stack a bunch of these, and it doesn't take up very much space at all. You do have to frame it, but what's great is that you pull it out of the package and it's ready to paint on. It's already got gesso on, it's already prepared, so you can just pick it out and start painting immediately on it. Thank you for watching that piece on surfaces and what to paint on with acrylic paints. We hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, please let us know down in the comments below and we will see you next time. Goodbye.